Crabman here, and today we're going to play through WWF Smackdown Just Bring It Story Mode with Devon Dudley. Thou shall not mess with the Dudley Boys. And in this playthrough, I'm going to be going through with Devon Dudley and trying to capture the tag team titles. I have a special story I want to try to see if I get a different cutscene, so we'll see how that goes. Here he is, Devon Dudley, brother Devon in TNA, Legends Champion in TNA, very interesting indeed. But here he is, still in the WWF in 2001. If you give me a shot at the tag team titles, maybe I'll consider forming a tag team. Just like I haven't been a tag team for the past maybe seven years? I don't know when the Dudley boys formed. I want to say 94, 95? Maybe 1995? Probably should have looked that up before starting. But obviously, many time, six, seven, eight time ECW tag team champions. WCW Tag Champions, WWE Tag Champions, okay, is Perry Saturn, obviously we want, who's that over there, Test? Yeah, not Test. There's Bubba. Here he is. Definitely hasn't gone into his Reverend, Reverend Devon face. Hey Bubba, are you down to help me out tonight and be my tag team partner? No, not at all. We're only wearing the same gear. We stole off New Jack. Alright, so you don't need to do anything special for this playthrough yet. You can just play your first match on Raw. It's probably another TLC match for no reason whatsoever. Current tag team champions though are Albert and Eddie Guerrero from my very first playthrough of the story mode. It's kind of good, well hopefully the Dudleys will win the tag titles so that I don't have to, it's always a TLC tornado tag. Hopefully I can win the tag title so that Eddie Guerrero can have a proper story mode, he doesn't just have defending the tag titles. So the default tag team champions in this game are Undertaker and Kane from their awesome month long reign or three week long reign in 2001. And they get a cool double team entrance if you haven't seen this before or you haven't seen it for a while. Brothers of Destruction. would actually have been a, a pretty cool pay-per-view match. Undertaker and Kane against the Dudleys in a TLC or a table match or a ladder match, some sort of gimmick match would be entertaining. Maybe they could have done this instead of Undertaker and Kane versus DDP and Canyon at SummerSlam. I think it was the Hardys and the Dudleys. There will be no disqualification in the TLC match. But the Dudleys versus Undertaker and Kane would have been really cool. It's dangerous. That's too much. I think it was well, it definitely was SummerSlam with Undertaker and Kane against squashing DDP and Canyon. I can't remember if that was Dudleys versus Hardys on that show. I know they they had a cage match at Survivor Series. And Undertaker and Kane had the cage match at SummerSlam and Dudley's had the cage match at Survivor Series. Just to not get your cage matches too confused. 
Devon Dudley is fired up for tonight's match. That must have hurt. All right, pretty tall ask trying to take down The Undertaker in this match. Well, we started off pretty well so far. Getting used to this game again after not playing it for the best part of about 18 years. It's actually still quite quite smooth to play. Some of the early Smackdowns are a little bit rough. Definitely WWF Warzone and Attitude on the PS1. They're quite challenging to play. Smackdown 1 and 2 aren't actually... They're not too bad to play. But this is probably the easiest one to get into out of the early games. Pretty much keeps a, the similar control system. L1 for your finisher. You could probably just pick it up and play if uh, 2K20 hasn't ruined your love for wrestling games. We'll put Undertaker through a table. There's a bit, I kind of learned this on one of the other playthroughs. There's a. I think it's. Watch out, Kane. I think it's R1 to pick up the weapons. There we go. If you. If you get the table and. not get hit by a chair, it's a little bit easier. Maybe we'll switch to Kane here. Alright, sometimes you get put in a table match and there's actually a really good trick to winning a table match quickly. Which took me a little while to find out if you get the table. You can actually win almost straight away. Helps if you can actually pick up the table. Oh. Just pick up the table, put them on the table and do a, a corner move. Keep seem to focusing on the ref. It's not helping. Oh, that is fast. How big is the big red machine? I'll um tell you how easy it is to do and then spend the next four minutes trying to do it. Alright, come on, Devon. Oh, Bob, what are you doing? DDT! Oh no! A bit worried Kane is near his finisher. Let's um Let's get this ladder. This TLC match. Sorry, Bubba. Will be an important match. I'm sure Devon Dudley will win. Irish whip. Something's a bit tricky in these multi-man matches to actually select the opponent you want. Sometimes it selects your partner, which is not very helpful. You can hold down R2, which should get the nearest partner, but doesn't doesn't always work. Oh, apologies, it's not going as well as I thought. Well, let's plow on. Let's let Undertaker out of the corner. Will he be able to continue to fight? No. He's strong because he's big. I'm lucky to see such an excellent match. Took the back. Bit worried Kane's got a finisher here. Come on, Devon. Come on, Dudley boys. This match has got a table in. You can't lose. Although they did pretty much lose every TLC they were ever in. But they didn't lose many straight up tables matches. He's pissed. What will the outcome of this match be? That's it. That's it, Bubba. <laughs> I can't watch this. The Undertaker is fired up for tonight's match. And the annoying thing is, as well, is that you can't set the tables and ladders up in the corner. That must have, that must have come in during shut your mouth. Oh, Devon had his finisher there. That 
reverse slam. I wonder if he's got a front finisher. Hurry, hurry. A pile driver, which I don't remember him ever using in WWE. This should be enough to pin The Undertaker, just like he pinned Triple H on SmackDown as Reverend Devon. Sorry, we didn't quite get the table spot going. That is a huge win on Raw against The Undertaker and Kane. Moving on to SmackDown. We can always save later. You just have to remember to save after. Saving takes forever as well. Tonight there'll be a six-man tag team match with the tag team champions. Albert and Eddie Guerrero. them heat factor all right we're on smackdown now the aim is here i don't know if this really changes what scenes you get but it's a little bit different to the other tag playthroughs is to choose to pick your own tag team partner but then just to let the the time expire which kind of gives you a, a slight variation on the story um or oh, actually i didn't even get to choose there so I'll just edit this to the end, and then we'll see what happens. And we're back here with the final few seconds. Let's see what happens. But some of the other playthroughs you get put into a, a battle royal uh, if you're just doing the single storyline. So let's see what happens. Hey, what's wrong, man? You need me, don't you? Well, I do. Oh, and we just put into a six-man tag with The Rock. It's a pretty awesome tag partner against Heat Factor, Eddie Guerrero and Albert, and their tag partner, I did it for The Rock, Rikishi. Let's check out the rocks entrance. Weighing 275 pounds from Miami, Florida, the people's champion, Pro Rock. Hmm, Rock must have not had anything to do. Random six man. Here he comes, the hip hop hippo himself. Where's your tag title? From Boston, Massachusetts, Albert. Very strange. Left his tag belt at home. Wonder if Eddie remembered his. They don't even have a joint entrance heat factor. From El Paso, Texas. Latino heat. Sorry, I promised I wouldn't sing in one of the other videos. I make no such promises from here on in. Where's Rikishi? With his bad man entrance music. Now I'd wait till he gets to um, his name comes up, but it doesn't come up till you get in the ring. All right, regular six man tag. Always asleep at the start of these matches. All right, let's play a little bit better than last match. Here we go. Take the hip hop hippo to school. Still, um, weird. I still don't understand. I said this during the Albert playthrough. I'm still not sure why. At the very least, I'm not sure why X-Pac's not in this match. It's very, match. very strange to me that he's not in there. Huh? I understand why, um, why Just Incredible didn't get in, but... X-Pac was in SmackDown 1 and SmackDown 2. So not really sure why he was omitted, and he and he was there the whole time as well. It's not like X Pac was one of during his uh, hiatuses from WWE. He was he was there. All right, now a slightly annoying thing about this is they change this for later games. Because if you're in a tag story, or at least you're in a tag match, and you you tag out, 
you actually become the character that's in the ring. Here, I'm just Devon standing on the apron, which um, which isn't really much fun. I mean, you can you can taunt on the apron. That's really about all you can do. You just taunt slowly to get your SmackDown meter up, and for some reason, I'm not even on the apron anymore. Which is probably I'm actually taunting here, but oh yeah, my meter's going up, but just very slowly. Whereas in the future SmackDown games, your special meter would actually increase slowly while you're on the apron. Um, here, if you look at rocks, rocks is doing nothing. Alberts is doing nothing. Is the best in table match. And a oh, lovely camera view, just Rikishi blocked out. You can hold R, uh, you can press R1 to ask for a tag. Poor Rock probably won't even, um, Rock probably won't even get in this match. Oops, sorry, Diva. sorry, Bubba. No, don't tag out. <laughs> We're doing this match going forever. Looking forward to doing the Eddie Guerrero playthrough next. Might go for the, Before. might go for the Intercontinental title with Eddie. Snap suplex. He's trying to hang in there. Who'll be the better fighter tonight? All right, let's keep Double working on him. Move. Let's tag Bubba in again. Don't worry about tagging in the Rock. He's just in for an easy night on the apron. Kick to the groin. Just tag me in again. I'm getting bored. Come on, Bubba. get in for no reason and try and pin him not what I was trying to do just trying to pick him up for a double team Backdrop. all right Earl's coming he's getting mad hold come on Bubba here we go double team so if you pick them up in the grapple and just hold them there your partner should your partner should come over and do a double team move Belly to back flip. Did you see the intensity? I'm sure Bubba Ray Dudley will win. It's really hard to get on the apron. Oh, don't put him in the corner. Don't whip him to the other. Bubba! What's going on? It's better. Just get superplex. Doesn't bother making a tag. Albert doesn't want in. Rikishi doesn't want in. Oh, Eddie, what have you done? Whip. Please keep quiet for a while. Oh, beautiful diving headbutt from Devon. Maybe I can hold him outside the ring here. Where's Eddie? Oh, he's in. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the ring. I got confused who I was. I thought it was Bubba. It's so huge. Let's get confusing because you should really be the person who is actually wrestling in the match. Otherwise, it's just really boring. All right, here we come. Come on, Devon. Nearly got a finisher. Pin Eddie, he's been jobbing out all the styles. Pinning Undertaker. Pin Eddie Guerrero. Do another double team. Albert's had enough, he's in. A-Train. Lord Tensai. Hippo Hippo. Oh, Albert, get out. Oh, Rock wants the tag. I don't want to let him in, though. Come on, Ref. Get Albert out of there. Oh, I should have hit him with that weird suplex. I could kind of pin him there. Let's give him a pile driver. Why not? Maybe he did a pile driver in ECW. I don't remember. Come on, get in, fellas. None. Must have been a rope break. I'll just keep, I'll just keep trying to pin him. Suplex, vertical drop. This rivalry will yeah, it must be, it must have been a rope break before. Reverse the pin. I think this is good. Oh wow, a hard shot by Devon Dudley. Devon Dudley is fired up for tonight's match. Huh? Devon Dudley suddenly Hulk Hogan esque. Just doesn't take. Doesn't take stick from anyone. You can knock everyone off the apron. Oh. Well, it'd help if you're still down. 
I was trapping. Are showing some serious competition. All right, that should be it. That should be it. There's no one around. There's the winner. Lovely backdrop to win the match. Now we should go on to challenge for the tag team titles. So I think that was just the, the variation on the scene. They just picked a tag team partner for you if you didn't find one backstage. So a lot of these story modes only have slight variations. I mean, they have huge variations. So please watch all these videos. I'm trying to play through with every single character. What well a Rock Rock didn't even do anything. Trying to see as many variations as they can through these playthroughs. So if you enjoy this playthrough, watch another one. Or, yeah, let's continue. Find some more of my videos to have a, a little watch through. Plenty of things there. Here we go, we're ready. The Dudley Boys, Bubba and Devon. Taking on Heat Factor for the tag titles. What pay-per-view are we on? Oh, no mercy. No mercy. So he didn't promise I wouldn't sing again. I think it's just always a regular match, which is weird. You start with a, a TLC match and then just progress into more regular matches as you go through. I heard tonight's challenges are Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray Dudley, but it's not going to be the perfect storybook ending you guys want. Doesn't matter who we face, each victory just proves how we are the greatest tag teams ever. We are the greatest tag team champions ever. Tonight will be no exception, and I'm not even going to let Eddie talk. I wonder if they're singles wrestlers, if Albert and Eddie will come out with the titles this time. Because Kane and Undertaker did in the first playthrough, but they were the default tag champs. I wonder if they'll come out with the titles or not. Another thing that's annoying as well is when you do win a title in this game in story mode you get the announcer going, you get well, Howard Finkel, you get Howard Finkel going and the champion is Bubba Ray Dudley and not the new WWF Tag Team Champions Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley. You need the new bit to really make it awesome. It kind of says it like you're retaining the title. That's the Papa Roach music. Yeah, no titles. Really weird. No championship. The champions wear the belt to the ring in the other story modes as well. Maybe it's just the tag team title story mode where they don't. Latino Heat. Alright, here we go, wrestling for the tag team titles. Heat Factor taking on the Dudleys. Gee, that shifted a lot of pay-per-views. A lot of pay-per-view buys. Let's try and get on top here early. Some of these tag matches go for quite a long time. Let's try and keep Albert neutralized and become tag team champions. It's a real shame that for the Dudley story that it doesn't end with a tag team tables match. I think that would be really cool. It's just a generic match. You kind of start off with an awesome TLC match and then you kind of go to a regular six man and then just a regular tag. So it's kind of a bit of a... Bit of a, um, just a bit of a disappointing way to end the story mode really. It's nothing too exciting. Just a regular tag that you could have on Raw. But you just have a random TLC match. Interesting booking. Maybe Russo's still there. Yeah, gone to WCW by this point. Interesting we have Eddie around this time known for his on screen pairing with China. So interesting that China's not in this game. I couldn't only assume she was scheduled to 
be in the game. And then when she was released sometime around the summer of 2001, well, you know, Northern Hemisphere summer, she's in the summer, um, they didn't put her in the game and then she wasn't in another SmackDown game until I believe 2K19, but it might have been 2K18 when she was put into the Hall of Fame. So there was a long stretch of games that she missed from SmackDown 2 all the way through to the 2K series. So she wrestled Ivory at WrestleMania 17 and then defended the title against Lita at, I believe, Judgment Day, and that was her last WWF match. And then I believe she wrestled a handful of matches in Japan, and then that was it for her, her wrestling career. All right, let's... So many counters. Frustrating. All right, well, while we're putting a bit of a... A beating on Albert, or he beats me. Um, That's gonna break the back. I'm gonna give you a little story and a recommended match of mine that I watched this morning. That was pretty awesome. So during this series, obviously, there's the the light heavyweight championship. So I watched a short video on the history of the light heavyweight championship, which originated. This could be it. Which originated in about 1981 was mainly won by Mexican wrestlers and um, defended in Mexico and Japan and then one of the titles that Ultimo Dragon eventually won in 1996 in the J Crown um, well actually Great Sasuke won it first Great Sasuke won the J Crown and then Ultimo Dragon won um, was the WWF light heavyweight title and I actually wanted to search for the match where he won his 10th title. Don't tag Eddie. Um, because he was also the NWA middleweight champion. And then won the cruiserweight title from Dean Malenko at Starcade 96. So that was actually the match I was looking for. But I got a bit confused with a Rey, Myst with a Rey Mysterio match. And accidentally searched up Starcade 97. Um, and then was looking for Ray versus Ultimo Dragon, uh, which that match is actually a Spring Stampede. So, Crabman's recommended match is for today Ultimo Dragon versus Ray Mysterio at Spring Stampede 97. It's a fantastic match. And if you want to see the match where Ultimo Dragon wins the his 10th title, that is Starcade 96. I believe. I watch that tomorrow morning. Um, so speaking as well, come on, Bubba. Speaking of the great Sasuke, no, don't want him to tag out. Speaking of the great Sasuke, because in the words of Comrade Thompson, I don't know when I'll talk about him again. Uh, there's actually a second match I have recommended for you, which is a great Sasuke match when he wrestled a wrestler called the Dirt Bike Kid uh, from the UK, and I think this was a tournament in Japan, was, and, and the mask was very sacred, obviously Sasuke wears a mask, um, and I think a lot of, it was a, I think it was a masked wrestler tournament, and Dirt Bike Kid came to the ring and took his mask off in his entrance, which angered great Sasuke, and Sasuke then shot on him and choked him out in about 80 seconds so I've actually recommended two matches today one's a uh, quite a short match oh my gosh oh uh, let's try and bump him off the apron I think it's over. Uh, you just can't do it straight away what will happen next? You can feel the electricity in the air. oh so close right on the back of the actually quite resilient in these tag matches these matches seem to go for a while you can't just I'm sure Keep them down and give them one finisher because their partner comes in. This could be it though. One, two, two, yes! Dudley Boys are the tag team champions. Here are your winners, the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, Devon Dudley and Baba Ray Dudley. The Dudley Boys are your new WWF Tag Team Champions. Next. Here they are with the titles. Next story mode will be Eddie Guerrero. That was an amazing match. 
There they are, the titles have finally appeared. Alright, let's see what we've unlocked. Trying to unlock everything as well, because to get Shane McMahon as Stephanie McMahon, you have to unlock all of these cards. I'll save it a little bit later as it takes ages. I just need to remind myself to hit save and exit on the way out. So what did I get? And that will be the end of this story. So some hidden moves. What's the green? Some creator parts. Creator parts, creator parts. This must be Shane and Stephanie here. So all these people up here are the other unlocked wrestlers. Spike, Jerry Lynn, Rhino, Tajiri, Mick Foley, and Fred Durst. Keep rolling. Well guys, keep rolling on on the video and see you for Eddie Guerrero.